It's 5.40 on your Wednesday morning. Thanks for joining us on Saturday. It marks one year since the inauguration of President Donald Trump. That's right. Uh, CNN's Martin Savage sat down with some of the president's supporters in Youngstown, Ohio, to discuss their expectations of the Trump White House versus the reality. Anywhere you look in Youngstown are reminders of what's been lost. Factories, jobs, the city's population is down by almost two-thirds from the 1950s. The economy wasn't just disappearing here, so is a way of life. And I realized that uh, the core foundation of our country is slipping away. I mean, it got to a point where I did not like the direction that my country was going. The answer for many was Donald Trump. In 2016, according to the Mahoning County Board of Elections, approximately 7,000 registered Democrats switched parties to become Republicans. He said he's going to make America first and he's going to bring jobs back. Donald Trump said you're in lousy trade deals. We fix that, the jobs can come back. Something that he said that really sticks with me is that he wants to give the power back to the American people and that's something that I can per certainly get behind. I'm with a pastor, a stay-at-home mom, a student, a machine shop worker, and a union member. Democrats or raised in Democrat families who crossed over to vote Trump. We're one year, one year in. How's he doing? Fantastic. Phenomenal. Great. Better than I ever would have dreamt. <laughs> I, mean, I mean that sincerely. Really? Oh yeah. Derek? Yeah. Yes, I yes, agree. Absolutely. Yes, he's doing wonderful. He's staying on task. We start with a hot button topic of the moment. How big an issue to all of you is immigration? Huge. Huge. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. In Youngstown, Ohio. Absolutely. absolutely. And as far as I'm concerned, they're stealing jobs of rightful citizens. It's also about something else Trump voters say is important, rules and respect. Um, I feel like when people come here illegally, that's just very disrespectful. You don't respect our laws and you shouldn't be able to come here freewheeling like that. A year later, they all still want the wall. As for the president's inflammatory tweets and speech, Gino says he used to cringe, not anymore. So you don't cringe anymore because you've grown numb to it? or No, not, not numb at all. But I know what he's done. And I, I'm, I'm starting to get an inkling why he uses Twitter in the way he does. Because if all he had to rely on is what people say about him, oh my God, I might not like the guy. <laughs> but I love the guy. I love the job he's doing. Justice met Trump at a rally and says he's not a racist. He was just the nicest person. And honestly, he, if he was a racist, as everyone pick, um, paints him out to be, he could have just walked right past me and not even said a word. What about the lies? Well, let me ask you this. Do you think he is a liar? Do I think he's lied? No. Do I think he's fallen short in some of his goals? We all do. Economically, they say things are getting better. The stock market and their home values are up. Industries are booming um, everywhere I'm, I've, I've seen. I look around here, I don't see a boom. Well, uh, in this area, no, but I, I feel like uh, there's small businesses that are starting to pick up. Derek says Trump's tax reform will fuel the recovery. If you expand your business in the inner city, so that my community will benefit from this tax cut. Do you think the media gives the president a fair shake? I don't think so at all. <laughs> no. One year later, these voters couldn't be happier. They see achievement. Most of all, they see a president like them. And he's like tenacious sometimes and says stuff off the cuff like we do, like real Americans do. You know, we're not perfect. I'm tired of suave. I'm tired of polished. I'm tired of the teleprompter. You know, I am. I, I want my country back. 